so today we're going to be working on my Ford Fiesta ST um, I just got back from a local meet last night and we're going to wash the car today so what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be taking you through some of the steps that I do when washing my car in general and what I do when I've just come back from a meet uh, I'm going to be taking you through some different techniques that I do and some of the different products that I use I'm not going to go too into depth with everything that I do, it's just a general wash and what I do. So yeah, let's crack on and give it a go. Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick video of the overall car and what we'll be working with today. As you can see, we've got slight dust just sitting on the sills of the car and on the back of the car and around the alloys. And that's what we're hoping to remove today with the washing stages that I take. Okay, so the first step I do is I use a snow foam. Now the product I'm using is called Glazed. It's a great product. You don't have to put much solution in to get a nice thick foam which you want. Um, what I'll do is I'll work my way around the car with this. Um, it's just great for the first step of washing I think. I do this whether the car's heavily contaminated with dirt or a light contamination. Um, what I'll do is I'll let this dwell for about five to ten minutes and then I'll rinse off the car and I'll move on to the next step. Okay, so after snow foam the car, what I'll then do is I'll start to work around the car with a detailing brush. Now, the one I'm using is by Auto Bright. Great little brush. They come in a packet of four, uh, all colour coded, all different sizes. So great for using them on all different areas of the car, such as the interior, engine bay, the exterior wheels. <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm just working the snow foam into them areas where you can't quite get to the wash mitt. After then doing this uh, to all these areas, I'll then rinse the car down and we'll move on to washing the car. So we've just rinsed the car down, uh, we're now moving on to the washing stage. Um, as you can see I've got a two grit guard bucket method on the go. I'm also using a microfiber wash mitt, and one I'm using is by G-Techniques. I wouldn't advise using a sponge to wash your car. The reason for that is, is because the sponge doesn't tend to pick up the dirt like a microfiber mitt does, it tends to just push it across the surface. So then what you want to do is you want to work from the top to bottom, doing a panel at a time. After you've then done that, you want to rinse off the car and go and make our way over to doing the wheels. Okay, moving on to the wheels, what you first want to do is you want to rinse all the wheels down, removing all the heavy bits of dirt and slight bits of brake dust. Then what you want to do is you want to spray the wheel down with a pH neutral based cleaner. Um, and then what I'm doing there is I'm just working the brush into the wheel cleaner, into all the areas where it's going to be hard to get to with a wash mitt. After using the detailing brush, I use uh, a cleaning tool called the Wheel Woolies. Um, you get them in a pack of three, you get three different size brushes. Uh, this one's just great for my alloys. What I'm doing is I'm just using the foam that's left from the wheel cleaner, just getting behind the back of the spokes, around the back of the brake caliper, and just the inner rim. It's just easier to get in there 
with one of these wheel woolies instead of using uh, a wash mitt. And the final step I like to do on the wheels, apart from rinsing them down and drying them off, is I like to use a separate wash mitt with some soapy water that I've got in the bucket and just clean the face of the wheel that I may have missed with the detailing brush or the wheel woolly. After that we'll just rinse off and move on to the next step. Okay, so after rinsing off the car, the next step would be to dry the car. I use a microfiber towel. The one I'm actually using is called the Woolly Mammoth by Chemical Guys. Uh, great, great drying towel. Absorbs loads of water. And what you want to do is you want to do a panel at a time and work your way around the car, top from bottom again. Okay, so I hope that video helped you guys out and you like what I did. If you would like to, you know, see anything in a more in-depth video, which I will be doing in the future, uh, just comment and subscribe if you would like, please. So yeah, hope it. Hope you like the video. It's my first time, so hope it went okay. Cheers, guys.